Hello, and thanks for stopping by the Sister Cousins Lifestyle Channel. My name is Sandy, and today we're going to be doing an over-the-top Christmas tablescape. So if you'd like to see how it turns out, come on, let's go get started. The star of this tablescape that we're going to be creating today is that sled right there. We're going to take that and create this. Now, of course, that's going to take a lot of work. I had to take this thing apart and I remove all of the pieces that were on there and clean it up. I used my sander as well to try to smooth it all out so that I could achieve the look that I was going for. Once I had it sanded and all cleaned up nicely, the next step was to go in with some spray paint because I did not want to keep this the original colors. I painted this sled black and I did the trim in gold to match with my signature colors in my home. And you're probably asking yourself, girl, why are you trying to put a sled on a table? And the short answer of that is, I don't know. <laughs> it just seemed like a good idea at the time. So I just continued to work with this to get the look that I wanted. Like I said, I'm doing it in black and then I'm doing the trim in gold. And I really think it turned out really, really nice. Now, the thing that I love about this piece is that um, obviously I can take it back or use it to be a sled, which was its intended purpose again, or I could continue to use it as decor in my home, um, like as for tablescapes or whatever. It also would be really, really nice as a piece on a buffet table, like a serving cart if you need to have like maybe your um, glassware, stemware, whatever, elevated on your buffet or whatever, that might be a good look for it. But for now, we're going to go ahead with it on this table. And now that it's all cleaned up and painted and looking good, we can go ahead and adorn it with some pieces to create this over-the-top tablescape. And I'm going to start off with this piece of garland that we're just going to go ahead and frame around um, or on top of this sled, however I can get it to fit on here where I like it. However I get it on here, it won't be anything that will be permanently affixed to this because as I said, I may go back to using it as a sled. I may use it on a buffet. There's other ways that I could find to use this piece. So I want to keep it so that I can switch it out and use it as I need it. So everything will just be set on here. Nothing will be glued or attached. One thing about me is I love unique things, unique decor pieces, um, you know, just things that I can use my creativity to come up with new ways to use something that has another common use. I love that. I think that is just so much fun to do. And honestly, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't, but I wouldn't know if I didn't give it a try. So the key is to just go ahead and try it. And as I always say, there's no right or wrong answer. It's whatever that I like. And if it turns out the way that I like it, then it's right. <laughs> So we're just working with this garland the way that we would if it was on a mantle. You know, you have to fluff it out and get the lights going and everything. And that's what I wanted to achieve here. And now that I have the garland around the sled, I'm going to go ahead and just stick some picks down in here. And there's no rhyme or reason to the way that I'll do that. It's the first time that I'm trying it. So I'm just going to be sticking them in and trying them in different ways to see how I like it. And like I said, I'm not attaching anything or gluing anything. So if I don't like it, I can take it back out and start all over again. But I'm liking the way that it's coming together so far. This is really the fun part for me. So I'm going to place these French horns on here and um, just placing some picks that I already had into place. I'm going to pull out some of my bulbs and put them in here. Just whatever I want or whatever, however the mood uh, takes me. <laughs> And I'm just adding them to see how it all looks together. I must say, I didn't do too many uh, trial and errors here. I'm liking everything that I pulled out. Those little candle holders, I thrifted those a while ago, and I'm finally able to use those. And I'm just going to stick those right on the ends of the sled just for a little extra uh, decor there. And I'm going to place my little deer here in front of the sled. I think that's a cute little touch as well. And then why not a lantern? We've got to have some light on the sled. If you've been watching my channel, you may have seen me do this sled because I did this back in July for Christmas in July. 
um, but I thought that I would bring it back out for the Christmas season because I love it. This is how it turned out. I think the table is absolutely stunning. I think it is a conversation piece for sure because this girl has a whole sled on her dining room table. Who does that? <laughs> But I really like the way that it turned out. And I really think that this will be a beautiful piece on top of a buffet as well. Um, because as you can see, you can adorn it and then you have plenty of space to add your dinnerware or food items or whatever it is that you want to do with it. It is definitely a piece that you could use for years to come in different ways in your home. Comment below and let me know what you think of this piece here. Is it a something that you could consider doing in your home or is it like girl no that's a little bit too much over the top for me <laughs> but you do you <laughs> but I do like it and I hope that you are inspired um, to do just try different things in your home whatever it is that you like try different decor pieces ornaments whatever it is to achieve the look that you like and on a budget because this sled like I said I got it from a thrift store so it did not cost very much at all and then all of the decor pieces are things that I just kind of have in my stash and I just added them on here but I think it turned out beautifully comment below let me know what you think also if you are not currently subscribed to my channel I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell so that you're notified when I upload videos and also share the video out that would help my channel a lot I'm trying to grow my channel and any um, feedback from you or sharing the video helps my channel a lot so I do appreciate that I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you over here on my next one. Bye-bye. When it's Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family. Have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets, chilling out and watch TV.